From teacher to CTU organizer to Cook County Commissioner to the fifth floor of City Hall, Brandon Johnson, the outsider, is now Brandon Johnson, the mayor. One year ago today, he took the baton from former Mayor Lori Lightfoot, promising the most progressive agenda in Chicago history. We can build a better, stronger, safer Chicago. We just have to look deep into the soul of Chicago. The soul of Chicago tested early and often. First, on the migrant crisis. Tens of thousands arriving by bus from the border, a problem Johnson inherited from yeah, former Mayor crisis. Lightfoot. What we have is clearly an international and federal crisis that local governments are being asked to subsidize. But Johnson's handling of the crisis has been called into question. Migrants come right in, get 51 million, and we sitting out here in our neighborhoods, we're looking at abandoned buildings, abandoned houses, dope fiends, like every day. Not just from community members angry about spending precious city resources, but migrant advocates upset about migrant conditions, like building a tent encampment in Brighton Park late last year, despite concerns about ground contamination. That decision was eventually nixed by Governor Pritzker. The death of a young boy at a troubled Pilsen migrant shelter. Months earlier, Johnson was made aware of health, safety, and overcrowded conditions at that shelter. And the mayor's back and forth on the city's pledge to contribute $70 million to state and county efforts to fund programs. Unreliability like that is one of the reasons I think that Mayor Johnson has had a difficult time working with Governor Pritzker and has caused voters to have some concern about his ability to get things done. Let's continue to keep our city great. Johnson gets praise across the board for his selection of consensus pick Larry Snelling to lead the Chicago Police Department. It does appear that we're starting to see a more coordinated police effort, one that's more responsible than what happened under David Brown. But Johnson publicly clashes with his top cop over the use of the controversial shot spotter gun detection technology. Snelling believes it helps solve crime. Johnson says it contributes to over-policing in black and brown neighborhoods. And after being asked to stay away from the funeral of fallen police officer Luis Huesca, Johnson tries to fight the image that he's not behind the police. We are proud to support and stand with Chicago Police Department. On education, a Chicago Public School Board molded in his image as a former CTU organizer, with proposals to de-emphasize the top performing selective enrollment schools in favor of neighborhood schools. But Johnson and CPS have a looming $400 million budget deficit and a new teacher's contract to negotiate, where the empowered union is asking for 9% yearly raises. On the fiscal front, Johnson keeps his promise not to raise property taxes, but fails to win votes on his signature referendum to increase the sales tax on high-end real estate to fund homelessness, dubbed Bring Chicago Home. However, the mayor gets behind the Bears' plans to build a new dome stadium with the help of $2 billion in public funds, a plan that appears to be dead on arrival in Springfield. And in city council... Okay, let's clear the room, Sergeant and I. The tensest moments come when Johnson shuts down chambers after protests against Chicago's status as a sanctuary city get out of hand. And more tense moments in some frosty exchanges with the City Hall press. We're going to try to stay focused here despite the disruption. He's still learning what it means to be in the public eye and to be able to be responsive to the very legitimate questions that are being asked of him in this important role that he plays in the city. Still learning as the mayor deals with protests that threaten to disrupt Chicago's turn on the national stage when it hosts the Democratic National Convention in August. A new poll in Cranes gives the mayor a paltry 28% approval rating. The mayor turned down repeated requests for an interview with us for this story. Paris Schutz, Fox 32 Chicago.